Marco, thanks a lot for the time. Appreciate it. Thomas Costello, Massive Report. Uh, tomorrow you're playing first match here at Historic Crew Stadium. Kind of how are you feeling playing the first one at home after all these away matches? Yeah, I think I speak for the whole team. We're incredibly excited to be here. Um, it really is a loss to us what this place means for the community, for the city, and for US soccer as a whole. But let's talk about Columbus, the club, you know. Um, I mean, you look around, like, you see so much history. It's like a museum in here, you know. And um, <laughs> We'll do our absolute best to make sure that this place is respected the way it should be. Also, these uh, three away matches that you had last week, coach was talking about how it's really a positive playing three away matches in a row. How has it really helped you, captain of the team, gelling with everybody else? Because you're all pretty much coming together, not playing with each other before. Yeah, positive is one word of putting it. But we made the most of it, and I think it goes to show the character of this team and also the, you know, the quality of the staff and the players that we have. Um, he's right. When you go on the road with one another, you know, you, you, you come a little bit closer. And we did that for three weeks in a row. Um, so it definitely brought us together. We got some decent results. You know, we wish you could go back to Miami, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> but we'll get a chance to do so. Um, now we're just really excited on tomorrow night, being at home and, uh, you know, really focusing on making sure we implement our style and our identity here. And uh, we want to make it very obvious to whoever comes out to support, but whoever watches on TV and, you know, when, when we're at home, just like when we're on the road, um, we want to be recognized for the way we play, you know. And talk about that identity too. How has the team grown into it over the past few weeks? And how do you, or where do you think you're at in terms of reaching that goal? It's, it's a process. It's forever going to be a process. We definitely get better. Uh, you know, two back-to-back -back wins on the road, clean sheets. It goes to show a lot about sort of the personality that this team has, you know. Um, we're getting there. We're getting there. The the moments and lapses in perhaps that second of how you react to going away and everyone's more slowly getting on the same page. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a process. It's going to be a year round process and, and maybe more. But um, we think we, we really do believe we've got the right people in the team to be able to reach the, the level and and sort of team performance that we know we can and last week too you also had a few players from the senior side playing how does that or how do you kind of acclimate to that bringing in players who aren't in everyday training with the team here and how do you kind of respond to it and what does it kind of mean to you it's amazing it's amazing to be able to use the first team or for us to be of use of the first team um, the lads that came down were absolutely fantastic people first and of course we all know they're unbelievable footballers so for myself to be able to sit and talk to them and play with them and you know spend the day with them and so on um, well, that's also what I'm here for, you know. They're, they're at the top. They're where we all want to get to. And so we get to learn from them directly. It's just a win-win. And I hope that they're able to come down to our uh, environment and our locker room and maybe see the way we act and also respect us. And to be honest, I think that that, that did happen. Thank you. You know, um, I was just going to ask, everybody's all in the wins and losses. But with this team, isn't it more about gradually getting better and, and improving? For sure. The, the development part of this team is massive. Uh, as we said at the start, if at the end of the year we can put a few products on the first team table and let Caleb and the staff decide we want him, him and him, then, you know, we've done a good job. But on a Saturday, we go out to get the three points. And so winning naturally becomes pretty, pretty important to us all, you know. Um, and, you know, when you represent Columbus crew, like, there's a winning mentality, there's that gold standard, you know. So, yeah, we want to develop, yeah, we want to become better players, but you're never going to see Columbus crew at the bottom of the league, right. you know, and so we want to make sure that when there's a championship to be won, we're going to be there to win it. They're a very talented young team, you know, they've pressed really well, really high. Uh, there's a lot of mobility about them and uh, it's going to be really important for us to actually be really disciplined and sort of not fall into their, into that hand. Um, but to be honest, if, we, we're really focused on ourselves. You know, we do the right thing. We move the ball the way we want to move the ball. We press the way we want to press and just keep to our identity. And the main focus for us is to implement the game plan we're given. I really do believe um, we're going to be hard to be beaten all year. Finally, talk about the importance of the sort of three stadium. But what message do you have to the fans coming in tomorrow? Come out and support. I mean, they, they know better than me how beautiful this place is. I see it empty seats and I still fall in love with it. If we're able to get a few seats in it, it'd be even better, you know. Come out, support us. And um, all we can promise year round is that we're going to give our absolute everything for the, for the crest that, you know, the supporter group cherish so much. Thank you. Thank you, Marco. Thanks, guys. Have a Thanks, good one. Marco, thank you very much.